So today let's unbox and show you guys how I would style the Fear of God Essentials uh, track pants. I actually picked these up from the January 15th drop on Essence. Now I picked up the cement colorway. This is my first time ever having a pair of Fear of God Essentials track pants. I have pants that are similar, so I'll give you a little bit of a comparison in terms of the fit and maybe feel little nuances I found that were different in these pants maybe versus uh, pants that are similar to them. And when it comes to the colorway, if you're curious, yes, cement and charcoal are pretty much identical. I know you may have a question about that, but they're pretty much identical. I'll break that down in this video. Let's get started. What's up everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ, AKA TJ Two Shoes Chains, who actually has an old English F around her neck with these Nike chains. You should probably be able to figure out what that's about. Uh, but thank you for tuning in. If you're brand new, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share, drop a comment down below. I love engaging with you guys. I try to get back to you as much as I can. Two Swish Crew, thank you guys for tuning in to another video. And of course, this will be added to the Fear of God playlist. And we're not out of January yet. So if you guys are still looking to cop your actor age, not your shoe size crew neck, that is right here, the black one. But then also you can get the cream and the red one. Uh, you can do that. Uh, uh, before the month ends January 31st, but let's dive right into these pants. So again, this is my first time buying the Fear of God Essentials track pants a little while back, a few drops back in 2020. I picked up the nylon half zip track jacket. And in terms of sizing with that, I it, it even the jacket, like my normal Fear of God size, I go with a small, um, just for reference, I'm 5'6", 132. So I normally go with the small in all of the tops and that works for me, but the track jacket was actually a lot <laughs> more roomy than what what I expected it to be. It's a more relaxed fit. So I would say even go down in that. A lot of you have gone down in your knit uh, hoodie sizing from your normal fear of God sizing. So if you're looking at the track jacket, cause it will be shown here in this video, just go ahead and go down a little bit. Um, go down one size in that. In terms of these track pants, I wasn't sure. Now I say that because there are pants similar um, in or on the market that you can buy similar to the, just the style, the aesthetic of the track pant that's uh, released by fear of God essentials and Jerry. So that's actually what this is. So these are, this is actually the charcoal colorway of the minimal everyday nylon pant. Again, uh, one thing that's awesome about the track pants and then the nylon pants, truth, uh, are the bottom of them. So you can cinch them. You can choose to rock them uh, completely released and have them fall like over the top cuff of your uh, sneakers, whatever kind of shoes I guess you're wearing. But you can also choose to cuff it. So that's one thing you can do. Um, in terms of style, like with these pants, so the track pants are more of a straight leg fit, just so you know. And I usually can't wear a small in pants whatsoever though in minimal for it to be a comfortable fit. Um, there's usually not a lot to give in these nylon, these everyday nylon pants. So I go with a medium, but in the fear of God essentials track pants, I actually went with a small and you know what? I'm glad I did because I have more than enough room in the upper part of the pants. And then as it tapers down to my legs, now my calves aren't big, just admittedly, I don't have large calves. So if you have larger calves in relation to the rest of your body, you may want to go up a size. Uh, but I actually went with a small and I get a small in a lot of different pants uh, when it comes to Nike or other brands. But if I want that baggy look, that oversized look, then yes, I will go with a medium. But I went with a small here, was a little hesitant. I had no idea how that would work out, but it worked out really, really well. So I went with a small and again, uh, the fit. So what, what a, lo a little bit of the differences with these. So the pockets are actually lined with a mesh liner on the Fear of God Essentials pants. And I really like that that factor in there. Um, to me, they're lighter than the minimal everyday nylon pant. Like they're lighter. Uh, I like them. And then they do have that pop of 3M where it says Essentials Fear of God on the front mid calf, like, or yeah, I guess mid, mid calves, technically mid shin, I guess, going down. Uh, so again, 
light, awesome weight pant. Now, if you're trying to go around in the city in these in the winter, I wouldn't really suggest it in colder temperatures because there's not a liner. It's not a lined pant. So you will get cold <laughs> unless you layer this with, you know, pro tights or Under Armour cold gear or something of that nature. So keep that in mind. But otherwise, spring, fall, summer, uh, they would be great. Also be mindful though, if you start to sweat a lot in the summer, I don't know how that would go. So keep that in mind. But in terms of styling, you guys see a number of different outfits here and that's at least what I would like to get across to you. You can mix and match uh, any Fear of God Essentials item with the other items from the collection or the drop. And it can be from previous drops, current drops. So you guys are gonna get a chance to see the charcoal pieces paired with it. Now I did that on purpose so you could see just how close in color uh, variation, there really is no variation <laughs> between the charcoal and the cement. Now I know some people uh, wonder like, okay, was there really a difference? Do, do they maybe just change the names every season? I don't know know just because I don't know what their marketing plan is and I don't know what their strategy is but it really appears that cement and uh, charcoal from the previous drops are exactly the same so maybe if you missed out on charcoal items and you were trying to match them up really really well you could just go ahead and get the new cement that dropped and you would be perfectly fine uh, so since I already have a charcoal hoodie sweatpants and a t-shirt. I don't think I would buy charcoal anything else unless maybe it was the track jacket and maybe a long sleeve t-shirt and maybe a crew neck. That would be about it. But I'm a really big fan of the color way itself. So you see uh, these track pants paired with the charcoal short sleeve t-shirt. You see it paired with the moss track half zip. So there is a, um, a difference in terms of the tones, of course, of the track jacket itself and then the pants. And then you also get to see it with um, the same H&M, the black top that I'm wearing right here. Super, super comfortable comfortable and soft and then an H&M hooded cardigan. That is one of my favorite pieces, hands down. I really need H&M to come out with more colors. That's the taupe colorway. I also have the black colorway. And then the last outfit, I'm trying to think back as I'm editing this, um, the last outfit you guys, at, oh, sorry. So you see the track hoodie, you see the charcoal hoodie, sorry. You see the charcoal hoodie paired with it. And then a number of different kicks, whether it is the Fear of God Skyline in the white and black. Uh, I also went with the Air Max uh, women or no, not women. It's not a women's Air Max, sorry. But just the Air Max one, the navy blue, uh, more of that sand, and then the turquoise colorway that I picked up off of eBay for like $35 in 2020. Um, you also get the Nike SB Zoom Blazer Mid Edge and Team Red that I picked up. And then uh, you have the one other additional sneaker, which is the New Balance. And I love the pop of 3M on the New Balance as well as the track pants. So hopefully this guy's give you gives you an idea of what these track pants look like on person. I don't know... I think somebody commented they don't see a lot of videos on these. So absolutely something you can pick up. Great versatile to have in the collection, especially if you don't want to always wear sweatpants, but you definitely don't want to venture into wearing denim because I know a lot of you don't like wearing denim. So I'm a fan. I want more track pants now. I really want black. And then I'd be open to maybe a moss colorway uh in in these pants but or something similar i guess to moss and olive looked like it was pretty close to moss so uh, i have another fear of god item on the way but it's like an older item and i'm super excited about that so as soon as that arrives of course i'll unbox that for everything i mentioned that in the previous video but thank you for tuning into this uh let me know what you think about the outfits down in the description or down in the comment box and then if you're looking for any other additional information you can click in the description box i'll still make sure i put the essence link there just in case there's anything still available and you want to go pick it up thank you for tuning in as always at your age not your shoe size peace out <laughs>